Vandy Commodores beat Tennessee Vols last night in a butt whipping. 41 to 18. It was a pathetic showing by the Vols. Vandy Crow, real quick. Y'all beat us. It's like I've been saying every single Crow this year. I didn't expect it. Y'all just, the, the coaches in the black, black and gold polos did a better job. They had players, coaches, we were outclassed, outplayed. They sh Vandy showed up last night. Congratulations. Y'all, it looks like y'all are going to finish about fourth in the conference. There's nothing else to say about the Crow for Vandy. Y'all beat us. Just got the word a few minutes ago, Dewey's been fired. It's a sad state of affairs in Tennessee football right now. I mean, there's not, it's just, I'm, I'm, I've been speechless since the game last night. I'm still, I'm speechless today. It might be a while before things turn around. Because even a coach coming in next year, our schedule's real tough. I don't see things getting any better next year. To all, and I wish, I almost wish we could just start out fresh with everybody. Players, every single coach needs to be let go. And these players, that what we saw last night was a pathetic joke and a disgrace. We got throttled by Vandy. Is that's not okay. But heads rolled today, and I figured they would have waited till Monday, but they spent no time waiting. Chinese going to coach on Saturday. Doesn't really matter. We're not going to a bowl. I mean, I'm just... There, there may not even be 40,000 people in Neyland Stadium on Saturday, and I don't blame them. I got tickets. I, I don't know if I'm going to make the trip or not. It's almost to the point. I don't even want to waste my time. If what the product is on the field is no better than last night, that's that's a joke. And I want to say something else. To all you fans that think we we're being too harsh and we need to quit complaining, let me. How would y'all feel if y'all's team has went lost the last three years? I don't even think any other fan bases would be on here. So a shout out to everybody in the UT fan base for keep making videos. I know. I mean, it's tough right now. This is the worst Tennessee football has ever been in a hundred years. The worst. No, nope. yeah, it starts with the coaches, but in my opinion, the players are the ones playing, and they don't have any heart. I don't understand how these these kids. I mean, what are they going to say one day when they look back? Oh, we were the worst team in the worst worst years of Tennessee football history. That's something really. That's really great if y'all think, <laughs> dear God. I just, I don't know. It's a crappy weekend. Warriors get ended. Vol season, no going to a bowl. And racing ends today. But this video is already dragging too long. But, I mean, everybody in that whole Oregon Tennessee football should be ashamed. And they better hire, they better make a home run hire here. That's all I got to say. I don't care who it is, I just want a winner. And if they don't get, if they hire some idiot, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. We hire a scumbag, I'm gonna be pissed. This this is really gonna take a while for me to get over. Throttle by Vandy, but like I said, congrats to Vandy. Y'all whooped us last night. Not much else to say. But. There's one thing that's never going to change, and that's the fact that I will always be a Vols fan. May not make many videos during this offseason, but the one thing that's never going to change is my love for Tennessee football. And if you if you never if you don't grow up around here, you're not a fan, you're never going to understand it. But I will I'll be a fan of Tennessee football to the day I die. Just in other in another thing, not not Tennessee related. We well it kind of is. We can't even get a fumble to bounce our way. And then the Alabama Crimson Tide lose the game. And then number one, Kansas State, and number two, Oregon go down last night. How lucky can somebody get? I, that's unbelievable. But enough of that. Go Vols.
I'll try to get a video out sometime next week. Y'all have a good one.